Thank you for watching this short video on how to get data from TM1 Planning Analytics into Power BI. So we're going to use the TM1 Pi library. So the TM1 Pi library is a Python library uh, written by an open source team with Marius Wurtz. Here it's uh, supported really well by the Cubewise team. Uh, here is some links around describing what that is. Uh, pardon me, this is the, uh, first the REST API. So that's the part that we're using to connect into Planning Analytics. I'll be using, I'll be demonstrating it uh, connecting into a, a Planning Analytics cloud uh, environment, but you know, just changing a little, I'll, I'll talk through a few changes if it's on-premise or another, another configuration. Team one Pi, by uh, as in particular, is really connecting the Planning Analytics or TM1 systems into Python. Now we're going to use uh, Python really as an intermediary because we want to get this thing into a data frame that can be read by, uh, by Power BI. Uh, it's all open source, so TM1 Pi is available on um, on GitHub. You can pull down the uh, a number of pull down the source code, pull down some dem some uh, samples, uh, work with those, get a feel for how it works, and um, if you do want to look at more details on what you can do with data frames, so using a combination of JSON with data frames. And the nice thing about Team one Pi is it handles a lot of the complexity around converting JSON and data frames and back and forth so that you can just focus on, on having a few lines of code to do what we need to do. So let's first go into Power BI. Uh, so we're logged into Power BI. We've got an empty, uh, an empty canvas. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Get Data tool uh, and actually, before we kind of go, I'm going to flip over to look at the code. So we, I use VS Code. You can use any uh, any tool you really want, and this is really the code that we have. So you're going to you need to have the Team One Pi library installed already. If you need to do that, it would just be pip space install space Team One Pi, uh, assuming you have Python installed already, and that'll install all the dependencies for it. And then here I'm using VS Code, but you can use any tool you want. The first thing you really need to do is just create your TM1 service object, and that's just going to pass in the credentials that you need for either the non-interactive account if you're using a cloud server or some kind of a, uh, an account with sufficient credentials to, to log in to, to uh, maybe an on-premise machine. And I've tried to simplify it as much as I can. I'm just going to have a variable for my cube name, a variable for my view that I want to pull, and I am going to use uh, variables for my base URL and my password. For privacy, I've just lifted it, left it as a variable, but generally it's going to follow this kind of a pattern where you've got your, um, your full, fully qualified server name and then an instance at the end of it. And then really the main line of code is this one here, so DF, short form for data frame. You might see that in the other cube snippets that you look at. But we're going to look at the TM1 object. We're going to look at the cubes, the cells, and we're going to, this is the method that is specific to TM1 Pi is execute view data frame. And the nice thing is we just pass in a cube name, a view, and we reference whether it's private, whether it's private. And I, I, I imagine we should probably try to use ones that are public. So private would be false in most cases. And then the print statement here is what lets us return this really to Power BI. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of this as I go back into Power BI in the options and settings after you have Python installed. You want to make sure you go into options and settings, options, and there's a set for Python scripting. Just make sure that it's got the right path for Python and then your selected IDE, depending on what you want to use for, for development. But now coming back to the get data tool, I'm going to more, I'm going to search for Python, select Python script and connect. We're just going to paste in that code snippet, just the same one you saw there. Click OK. And within a couple of seconds, you see it's it's connected in to uh, build us a, a data set. And it's a nicely formatted data set. It's a nicely formatted data set because it's already been converted to a data frame. So you'll notice you get your dimension headers along the top as, as field headers. You get uh, your, your rows without, you don't have to do any parsing of dimension or hierarchies or ordinals or, or whatever. It's, it's a nicely formatted set. And I can just click the little icon there to say I want to do that. And I, I can 
I can further transform the data if there's any kind of uh, additions or calculations or things I want to do here. And because we're pulling directly from TM1 or Planning Analytics, I can pull uh, aggregates or calculations or any other object I want. That's perfectly fine. I uh, do different ad things here. And now I'm going to hit Close and Apply. Here we go. Now on the right-hand side under Data, I'll see DF as a re the item for that one. I'll also see all of my dimensions uh, correctly labeled. And I can go ahead and rename this. So I could call this, you know, my maybe my, it's my PNL. And now I can start working with the data. So I'm just going to check each one of the selections that I want to see. I look at my value. There we go. And now I've got data on my canvas. Uh, values coming through for whatever data set I've, I've pulled. I could now I can further save this and publish it. When it comes to refreshing it, I'll need to have a gateway set up, a personal gateway. I'll talk about that in a different video. But just to recap, with these lines of code, you can just drop this into a snippet in TM1 and in Power BI as with the Python script connection. And as long as you've set the right credentials for your TM1 uh, service, you can be very specific to the, hey, I want a particular cube, particular view. There's also a way to run MDX specifically. So just as there's an execute view data frame method, you can also one for running MDX, but it's going to return a data frame just the same, and you can uh, copy and paste it into Power BI when you need it. So hope this was helpful. Uh, message me if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.